What's up, everyone? How about what's up, everyone? It's Tony Schiavone. Welcome to our AEW Dynamite post game show. It's good to have you aboard. I hope you enjoyed the show tonight. Uh, I uh, really, really enjoyed, and I think many people did. Most of you should have. If not, shame on you. You should have enjoyed that parking lot fight uh, because that was pretty damn good. Those kids really battled hard. Uh, there's a lot to enjoy about the show. I thought, uh, and and kind of a. It was kind of a sleeper match, you know, because we talked saw talked so much about tag team wrestling. I really liked Hangman Adam Page and Frankie Kazarian. Frankie has been around a long, long time, uh, but man, the guy can still perform. So there you go. So uh, I'd like to say hello to everyone who's with us, uh, and uh, thank you for being around, uh, Shannon Limley. Uh, thank you very much, Shannon. Good talking to you. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Caden Snorman. Cadence, thank you very much for that. It's, uh, let's see. Uh, RHPW Wrestling, great show. Thank you very much. We really enjoyed the show. Uh, and uh, Dark Sins 965. I, I love these handles. Dark Sins 965. The show was fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, we had a lot of great things on the show, and I certainly hope that you enjoyed it as much as we did enjoy bringing you that show, because I'm going to be honest with you, we, uh, and I, and I'm talking about, uh, all of us who put the, who were on that show, uh, really enjoyed it. We enjoyed it while we did it. So it was, it was very, very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me go up here, try to move that up a little bit and see what other new comments we got. Uh, Tony, you've been dropping those pounds. Looking good. <laughs> Thanks. I. Uh, it ain't easy, buddy. It ain't easy, but uh, I. Uh, I have uh, been uh, doing a, a lot of bike riding. Uh, Clifford says, "Boring commentator." Uh, Clifford, uh, you guys uh, remember that name, Clifford Ford, because he's a troll and he's a coward, and he is going to get blocked. So there you go. Love trolls. Boring commentator, boring person. Uh, let's see. Love the Thunder Rosa match. I agree with that, man. Uh, that's from Aaron H. Love the Thunder Rosa match. So did I. Uh, how long do we get to see Miro wrestle? Johnny Knapp wants to know. That's a good question. I, I, I don't know. I know we're getting ready to do a podcast with him on our AEW Unrestricted. But as far as when he is scheduled to wrestle, your guess is as good as mine. I would like to think he is going to uh, he's going to uh, wrestle very soon. Wow. Uh, let's see. Love the Back to the Future WHW poster. Thank you very much. Right there. I appreciate that. Uh, Cole Prescott, it's awesome that Will Hobbs got signed. I would agree. Will Hobbs is a good performer. Jason Peterson remembers watching WCW as a kid while you were announcing. Thank you, Jason. Uh, really, really appreciate you being out there for us and watching it. Uh, let's see. Who gets fired first, the Jets or Falcons head coach? <laughs> David Cohen wants to know. Uh, David, uh, I only know one team exists, and that's the Jacksonville Jaguars. So I don't know. I really, guys, have not been following sports at all. I mean, zero. You probably know I worked for the Braves for 11 years. Uh, actually, I worked for the Braves for about three years on their pre- and post-game show in the early 2000s. And then, uh, beginning in 2009, I did their minor league uh, AAA games in Gwinnett. I have not watched one baseball game this year. I couldn't tell you. Uh, the records in baseball, who's in first, who's in last, who's hit the most home runs, don't know, don't care. And that's, uh, and that's the truth. Uh, Jesse Helson, hey, Jesse, good looking picture, buddy. Thanks for graduating. Parking lot brawl was awesome. Jesse, thank you for being out there, buddy. I appreciate you at all. Uh, Brian Allen, without question. You got it, Brian. You're on. You're on to something there. Uh, will AEW release any posters? That's a good question. 
let's, let's see if I can get a thumbs up or a thumbs down from uh, uh, from the front office there. Posters? Thumbs up, posters. We will be releasing. You see, here's the deal. If you think I'm doing this one by myself, there's always somebody watching you out there do your stuff. Yeah, there will be posters coming out soon. Thank you, Christopher Chavez. We appreciate you being out there as really. Lost interest in sports. Yes, I have. Uh, my interest now is uh, my dog, the bug, wrestling, uh, AEW. Uh, and uh, and then it's my dog, <laughs> it's AEW. And I do watch a lot of, uh, I don't watch ESPN. I don't watch the news. Uh, I, but I do watch a lot of uh, of Netflix and Prime Video and Apple Plus and Disney Plus and a lot of that. So uh, that's the uh, that's the the info on me. Walt John says the undefeated Jacksonville Jaguars. By the way, you're exactly right, Walt. Thanks, buddy. They beat the Colts in the first game, but I did know that. Uh, Mark Halstead has uh, sent in a. Uh, comment. Mark says, digging Will Hobbs recently. Nice to see a young talent improve and move forward. Mark, thank you for your question uh, and your uh, and what you had to say there. And I would agree. Uh, and here's uh, that right there. There's Mark. Uh, and I agree with you about, about Will. Will's a good guy, man. He's a hard, he's a hardworking guy. He's strong. He's powerful. And he looks pretty good. We got some other good looking, really good looking kids as well. Uh, on the roster that uh, that uh, or trying to break in the roster, I guess I should say that I hope we'll be able to see soon. Prince Leo, Prince, what's up, buddy? Good to be talking to you again. Will we see Vader Scott in an AEW ring? I don't, I don't think so. I, I think pretty much Vader is going to be pretty much a commentator on Dark as it stands right now. Uh, but th that's hard to uh, that's hard to see. How hard to tell, you know. So. Hey, Megan. How you doing, girl? It's good to have uh, Megan Nelson here with us uh, on there, on here. Good. Mike uh, Pon Pongrantz. I hope I pronounced that right, Mike. Uh, AEW swimsuit calendar. I'm all for it, but don't know if it's going to happen. Uh, let's see. Uh, love Trent's mom at the end of the show. Uh, Big Dub 360 Wrestling News. You know, I agree. I, I think her popping into the bird at the end of the show was just a tremendous way to end this show. Just tremendous. So there you go. I agree with all of that, man. I really do. Uh, let's see who else we got. Uh, let's see. We had to. Trying to. These, uh, <clears throat> at my age, a lot of these things come in too fast for my finger. Don't you know? Uh, let's see. What time is Dynamite next week? Uh, it should be the same time, 8 o'clock on Wednesday. It should be. Uh, Tilly Gil, Gil William, you're awesome. Love you from Wales. Thank you, buddy. Our buddy Nick Olivetti. Hey, Nick, how are you, man? Thanks for checking in with us. We appreciate you guys. Uh, what did you guys think of the, uh, 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 again, uh, Hangman Adam Page and Frankie Kazarian. I, I just, uh, I mean, Page is tremendous, uh, but uh, man, I really like Kazarian. I just, I'm really, really impressed with him. Uh, and one of the nicest guys in the world has joined us, uh, and one of my favorite people of all time, and one of the uh, really classy gentlemen in all of wrestling has joined us, and. Oh, wait a minute. I got I got a note. Oh, that guy can't be with us. So instead, we'll have Alex Aberhantes with us. Ah. Hey, Alex. How you doing, buddy? No, Alex is truly one of the nicest men ever. I just giving him a hard time. Uh, and thanks, Alex. Thanks for all the work you do for us. You are uh, you are a hardworking guy. We love you. How snake bit is the Rochester, New York show. Hey, uh, Mike, just about as snake bit, snake bit as all the other events. I mean, the event at Prudential Center. Uh, in, uh, is, in New York is snake bit as well. Hopefully we are moving forward 
Uh, I think there's been some good news on the front of uh, sports. I think the Big Ten finally said, hey, we're going to play football too. So just maybe, just maybe, we are moving forward with some, hopefully some live shows. When that will happen, man, I don't know. I really don't know. I wish I did. So, but we'll we'll see. So anyway, uh, thanks for that, Mike. And it's good talking to you. Uh, Josh Reynolds, excited for Archer versus Moxie big tag match. Yeah, Josh, so am I. That's got, uh, that's going to be pretty good. I think this is going to be a match that is really going to showcase, uh, I really think, Will Hobbs and what he can do. At least I hope it is. Um, so that's uh, uh, that's that. Uh, Michael uh, Triplett, you sincerely brighten my days, Tony. Thank you for taking us all away from the darkness of the world each week with the podcast and all that you do. Michael, thanks. That's what we attempt to do here. We attempt to take you from away from all the darkness in the world. And uh, we also uh, thank you for, uh, for being out there and also hope that uh, all of you people Men and women, children, enjoy AEW. We appreciate all the nice things you say. And uh, I uh, appreciate all that. Let's see. There was one here I wanted to get, but they're coming by so fast. Uh, well, let's go to this one. Well, Okay, here we go. Your voice help make SummerSlam 89. Great job. Thanks, AJRX. Thank you for saying that. That's very kind of you. I, uh, I was really... I normally had, had never been nervous doing a wrestling match or show, never. But I was nervous that night, being able to work with Jesse the Body Ventura and knowing how big SummerSlam was. Yeah, really, really kind of, uh, really kind of nervous on that one. Marianne Connor, love the Jungle Boy. Marianne, I bet you do. I bet you do. Uh, he is a matinee idol. He is a good-looking kid. And I think he's getting better each and every week. Uh, we need a Tony Schiavone shirt. Well, <laughs> am I allowed to say, am I allowed to promote my own stuff here? Okay. Uh, if you're looking for a Tony Schiavone shirt, Tyler, you can go to this website. Well, you can go to ProWrestlingTees.com and search under podcast t-shirts. And my podcast is there. What happened when? Or you can just go to this website, Lois Rules, L O I S Rules.com. And there are more Tony Schiavone t shirts than you can shake a stick at there, buddy. Mark Caldwell, hey, is Taz about four foot? Thank you, Mark, for that question. I just wanted to throw that up there. Uh, hopefully, that Taz is watching on the other end. Okay. Um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, yes, I guess he answered that question. Uh, okay. Um, well, I've been told that Jess will not be joining the post show tonight. Her car was one of the ones damaged in the parking lot fight and she's dealing with all state or, or state farm right now. So <laughs> there you go, Jess. Uh, and so we do miss a minute with Jess Palumbo, but we will have it for you next week. So keep that in mind. Uh, Ramos Mahoney and the whole family. Hey, Ramos, big fan for Chicago. Great show. Thank you, buddy. Got a beautiful family there too, man. Beautiful family. Uh, love that Superman 233 sign on the back wall. Thank you very much. Uh, this is, uh, by the way, for those of you who don't know, this is my office uh, and this is uh, the Batcave. And uh, it's all Batman uh, and superhero. And I got some kiss figures right there. Memorabilia and figures and things. And that's my dog, Bug. Thanks with me, everything. Uh, hello, Chris G. Glad you're out there, buddy. How about this one? Omar Muhammad Abdel Sattar. Omar, hope I pronounced your name right. Watching live from Egypt every Wednesday. Omar, thank you, man. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well out there. Really hope you're doing well. Thanks for being with us, buddy. Uh, what else we got? Let's see. I saw one up here. Uh, Wallet says you're the best commentator. Wallet, uh, th thanks for saying that. There have been great commentators. I actually think the best commentators are the two guys that I'm working with. Uh, so, uh, But I appreciate you saying that. 
Fran in Chile. What is the reason for the show after Inside the NBA? I think it'll be great for a ratings bump. Uh, I think uh, TNT wanted an extra show to uh, to put on after uh, NBA to bridge. They needed an hour show, so that's the reason. I, I have a feeling that was all uh, a deal done by Tony Khan and the TNT people. And that's as much as I can say. Speaking of Chile, Fernando Ferrell. Fernando, how are you, bud? Thanks for being with us. Uh, let's see what else we got. So glad you're here. And J.R. Carly Wrestling and Voices of My Childhood. Jeremy, thanks, man. Keep on playing that guitar. Uh, let's see. What's up, Tony from Oakland C, Oakdale, California? Chris Monkhouse. Chris, what's up, man? Thanks for being with us, buddy. Uh, you should put on a parking lot match on each show per week. This one that was amazing. <laughs> Mel, uh, first of all, uh, I like your mask. I know uh, my buddy Britt Baker would like it. Uh, and I would say that if you put on a parking lot mask every week, we pretty much get tired of it. But that was amazing. And thank you for enjoying that tonight. Ed Parham. Hello, Ed. Wednesday resident is only enjoyable. Tony commentating. Settle it for us, Tony. Should we all order Xbox Series X or PS5? I have a PS4. Am I bothering you? I have a PS4. I'm going to get a PS5. I'm a PlayStation guy. So there you go. Uh, and by the way, I'm, I've, I've just started playing the uh, the Avengers game that just came out. I started playing that. So, uh, so there. Uh, that's just my personal. You know, I, I'm sure that uh, uh, I'm sure that there's a lot of good on uh, Xbox. But there you go. Where was Dr. Britt Baker this week, Eric? Uh, that's a good question. Where was Dr. Britt Baker? Um, I guess they didn't, after she took a shot in the leg with Novocaine, they didn't want to use her, I would think. You're going to see more of her. Uh, Britt is still, uh, Eric, by the way, thank you for your uh, your, your question. Uh, Britt, by the way, is still, uh, is still uh, suffering that, that leg injury or still is not 100% from that leg injury, I should say, so. So there. Uh, will there be a new AEW pay-per-view? Well, the next one is November 7th. Um, so, which I believe is full gear. Is that right? Give me a thumbs up on that end. Yes, it is full gear. Okay. Uh, Michael Eldridge. Thanks, buddy. Hey, man. I love your, uh, I love your thing on Facebook here because uh, I love uh, I love Chick-fil-A. Uh, Tony, do you work at Starbucks? Can you get me a discount? Aiden, uh, I do not uh, no longer work at Starbucks, but if you happen to come to the Starbucks in Roswell, Georgia, ask for Sonia, the one on Holcomb Bridge Road, Sonia, the manager, tell her you're my friend, and she'll hook you up. Okay. Or, Aiden, even if you come to the one and she says you won't hook you up, uh, have her call me and I'll come down and buy you a cup of coffee or a Frappuccino. How about that? Are you excited about the PlayStation 5? You're the best, buddy. Uh, you know what? Inside Gaming Online, I really, really am. Uh, I uh, I spent a lot of time on Red Dead Redemption 2, more than I should have, and but I finally finished the game. Uh, and ever since that game, ever since I finished that game, I've kind of been like uh, – I don't know, had like uh, Arthur Morgan withdrawal or something. And uh, I haven't really found a game that I've got into. But now that uh, the Avengers game is out, I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. And I'm excited about PlayStation 5, but I'm not excited about the price point. Isn't it like, what, five, six hundred dollars, something like that? Who knows? But anyway, thanks for your question. One hour show is a good compliment to Dynamite. Eric Newton, you're right. And hopefully we're going to have a one hour show weekly. The compliment dynamite very, very soon. Had it not been for the pandemic, I have a feeling we would have another one hour show on TNT right now. Hello, Shane Lawrence from Charlotte, North Carolina. There you see Shane uh, and uh, the uh, some of the uh, downtown Charlotte, which is a beautiful downtown. Uh, we like to see, uh, we like our buddies who are the scumbags of wrestling. Uh, that is his name or her name, but as you know, there are plenty of those out there. Scumbag. Uh, 
Watch for the Great White North Canada. Bizarro land. Hmm. It's pretty much bizarro land down here in the States as well, man. Uh, let's see. Uh, Miranda wants to know, are we ever going to get Matt Hardy on Unrestricted? Yes, we are. We really are. And uh, that's one thing that we're working for. Uh, just a note about Unrestricted. Unrestricted is, as you probably know, run and produced by uh, Warner Media. And they're the ones that come up with the people. AEW does come up with it. So they're the ones that come up with the schedule, I should say. So uh, there you go. Uh, David says, stay safe during the hurricane. Uh, David, I, I just think we're going to get some rain here. Uh, we've had some heavy rain all day. I don't know if we're going to get any wind uh, or not. Uh, Sumit Chahar, I hope I said that right. Thank you for being with us, bud. It's not a TV deal in India, huge market. I agree. And we, we get a lot of comments about that, especially here on our post-game show. We get a lot of tweets about it, a lot of texts about it, or emails, I should say, about it. I do know they're working on it, I and, and I do know it's a huge TV market. So I do know it's not gone unnoticed. But I just think sometimes that TV deals take a long time to do. And uh, so I can just only say, ask you to be patient. I think we'll be in India soon. Uh, uh, Brad Enlow, a man with four arms would make a great wrestler. Man, Brad, you're right. Let's book him. Uh, let's see. Love the days with you and Flair interviews in the NWA, WCW 80s. Thanks. Uh, do you have any other belts besides a six-man belt? Travis. Great looking picture, bud. Uh, no, I don't. And, by the way, for those of you who have been following my podcast and following that crybaby named Conrad Thompson, uh a long standing uh a long standing uh sore point with him is the fact that i have a allegedly six man one of the six man tag team belts in my attic that i told him if i could find i would give it to him we've never found that belt but something came up the other day which i think has solved the mystery of the belt because i always thought i had given that belt to somebody. Well, we found out somebody sent a text the other day to Conrad that said, said that apparently the San Diego Padres had a six-man tag team belt in their trophy case at Petco Field. And then I got to thinking, you know, in 1998, uh, Mike Tanay and I went to uh, the uh, final uh, two games of the World Series at uh, – Jack Murphy Stadium in San Diego against the uh, the Yankees that year. Uh, the Yankees swept the series. We saw the last two games. Brian Bowringer, who was a at one time reliever for the Yankees, also at that time was reliever for the San Diego Padres. And I think I gave the belt to Bowringer. And I think Bowringer gave it to the Padres. And I think the belt that we're looking for is in the Padres uh, trophy case. I, I've tried to run down Bowringer. I can't. But I believe that is what the story is there. Hope I didn't bore you with that. Uh, place WWE Connect All Eight Wrestling. Please, 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 please. Okay. Uh, will AW ever get its own U.S. championship? No. No, I, I don't think so. I uh, Does anybody in AEW scare you? Yes, Jeff Jones does. Uh, let's see, whatever. What else happened here? Uh, I remember hearing this on What Happened When. Hobart, thank you, buddy. Thanks for the drill press. Love that. Uh, Patrick Dollins, slap dick. Patrick, you know the magic word, don't you? Uh, let's see. No, back to does anybody in AEW scare me? Um, I don't I don't know. I, uh, I you know, I, I do backstage pick on Taz a lot because, I mean, we just pick on Taz. Um, uh, and sometimes I'll, I'll pick on him so much that I'll kind of back off because I know he can really, if he wants to probably just stretch just about anybody. So I'll, uh, uh, I'll just say that, uh, Kyle Flavel, Kyle, thanks for being out there. Thanks for the nice comment. Uh, let's see. Will AEW come to Detroit after the pandemic? I do know, uh, Rabid, ah, 
or A, I do know that we were looking to go to Detroit before it hit. I, I really think, you know, there's going to be a couple of places uh, that after the pandemic that we are going to return to. I know we're going to Rochester. I know we're going to go to Newark. Oh, by the way, there was a there was a uh, awesome about uh, there was a uh, a question about uh, blood and guts, and I still think that when we go back or get to go to Newark, that's where blood and guts will be. I still think there is a, but I, I think it's going to be, uh, it may not be uh, the elite against the inner circle by that time. Uh, how big is <laughs> B-Star? I don't know, but I understand it's rather big. The TNT is the television championship. Okay, very good. Will Warhorse be back in AEW? Tyler, I don't know. Uh, I'm not so sure. We haven't seen him in a couple of weeks. Uh, okay. And here is, I'm only here to trash wrestling. AEW sucks. Tony, get out of that backyard mud show. Well, I really would try to, but my paycheck says no. Stay with it. And we're blocking you. You prick. Uh, Trump or Biden? Don't give a shit. Uh, let's see what else we got. Christopher Flores was in the crowd. Great show. Thanks, Christopher Flores. I appreciate you being out there. Uh, what else we got? <laughs> Say the goddamn candy man. Goddamn candy man. Okay, there you go. For those of you who listen to our podcast. David Arquette versus Jungle Boy in AEW. Book it. Real deal, Holyfield. AW Rocks. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, Sam. Let's see what time we've got. I'm going to about going to 11 o'clock, by the way. Who do you talk to when you ask someone questions? I don't really understand that question, Jordan, but thanks for being with us, buddy. Uh, QT's mom in the house. Well, hey, Sherry. Are you QT's mom? How are you, girl? Uh, let's see. Indiana when Pat can return. Uh, boy, that's something they're discussing a lot. And I hear his name mentioned a lot more. Uh, I hear his name mentioned a lot more uh, now backstage. So I'm hoping it's going to return very, very soon. Miss seeing you in WCW. Jonathan, thank you. I don't miss WCW, though. Uh, but I thank you for saying that. Uh, what is the AEW hotline number? Phil Hamilton wants to know. It's 1-800-GENES-KIDNEY. That's 1-800-GENES-KIDNEY. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, thoughts on Thunder Rosa. All Colts. So Thunder Rosa, uh, and I mentioned it before, Thunder Rosa and I are friends. We became friends when we, uh, we did an autograph signing back in Staten Island. She's one of my favorite female wrestlers. I mean, she really, really is. And it's not to say anything bad about anybody else. I love Sheeta. I love Swole. As you know, I love Britt Baker. I love uh, Penelope, everybody who wrestles for us. But my favorite female wrestler is Thunder Rosa. I always has been. I was so excited that we had booked her. Uh, and uh, I appreciate that. Dustin Rhodes needs a title run before he retires. Derek Banks, I would like to see that. He always gives us a good match 32 years later. Right. Uh, Jose, thank you for all you do, buddy. I appreciate you being out there. Uh, will AEW come to Phoenix, Arizona? Well, there was a plan to come out west, uh, and that was going to happen uh, around uh, double or nothing time. Uh, the plan was to run, uh, I guess we were going to run California, and then we were going to run Vegas and have double or nothing, and then the world came to an end as we know it. Um, Zachary Ransom, who looks cool. Uh, favorite commentator since I was a kid. Watch WCW. Love you and AEW. Keep up the killer work. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you saying that. I really do. Uh, so I said that and someone said Britt is going to be hurt right there. Uh, Bronze Tree 276. I think Britt will be fine. 
or maybe she won't. Maybe she'll find this out and then confront me with it on my uh, on our next show. Who knows with Brett? Uh, Daniel Goose Gustick. Thanks for the great post show. Thank you, Daniel. Great beard, man. Uh, let's see. Where is he? Where else we got? Um, fondest memory of former WWF days. I think my fondest memory of the former WWF days was at the end of WrestleMania five when I uh, had to run uh, from Atlantic City to Stanford uh, to be able to produce the video cassette WrestleMania 5 that had to get out the next day. And uh, we were supposed to take a private airplane, which never showed up. And then we uh, ended up taking a limousine all the way into uh, Stanford. And I stayed in an edit suite because they had edit suites back then. I don't know what they do now because you can edit from your laptop. Uh, and then, uh, they had edit. They had an edit suite, and uh, and I stayed in that edit suite until. Well, I stayed all night in my tux with my makeup on, and I was thinking, man, this is, this is pretty cool. This is uh, this is being a part of something. That's my favorite moment of being the WWF. What else we got? The South is home to pro wrestling, Jacob Peacock says. Well, you know, uh, the South has a lot of uh, a lot of good wrestling, a lot of good emotional memories. Is Cody okay now? Yes. Physically, I think he is. Mentally, we'll see. Uh, Mike Ruiz. Mike, how are you, man? Glad to be back. Thank you for saying that. My buddy Chupa says Moxley sucks. He's crazy. Right, Tony? Yes, he is crazy. And uh, I uh, I wouldn't tell Moxley that. Uh, any AW plans of bringing the Crockett Cup? Don't think so. Uh, let's see. Uh, look here. Tony, leave the backyard promotion already. Wow. I won't do that, but guess what I'll do? I'll leave your ass blocked. How does that sound? What else we got going on here? Uh, will AEW come to Memphis? Uh, we were at uh, South Haven, I guess, right outside of Memphis recently. Hey. What's your favorite Back to the Future movie? I see that poster. Uh, Randy, hey, bud. Uh, it was number two. I, I just thought number two was was so great in, in bringing number one into number two. And I really didn't like that. I really like that. Uh, let's see. What else? Will AEW come to Canada? Uh, I would hope so. Like your picture. Mick Foley, one of the greats of all time. Uh, where is Mike Tanay? Good question. Uh, Mike and I will at times um, text each other. As a matter of fact, we texted each other uh, this past week because Dr. Gene Budig, who was at one time the president of the American League when they had American National League presidents, uh, passed away uh, just this past week. So Mike sent me a text and said, did you hear Dr. Beauty had passed away? And I said, yeah. And that was, uh, was it was amazing. Dr. Beauty was a very well-educated guy from Princeton. At one time, he was the president of Princeton University uh, and just a well-educated, well, well-read scholar. But he loved wrestling, man. <laughs> he loved wrestling. How about that? Uh, will Okada ever become all elite? You know what, Eli? I'd love to see that, man. I'd love to see. Will AW come to the UK? Brahma, yes, it will. It was going to be in the UK this summer. And that broke us all. It broke all our hearts. Uh, so anyway, where's Mike today? Uh, Mike is living in southern Utah, I believe. He's got a home there. And he also lives in, uh, in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. And he splits time there, but he is like, uh, 
as far as wrestling is concerned, he's like completely void of wrestling. Uh, do you miss baseball, Josh? Uh, no, I don't. I, I thought I would, but I don't. I, I've, I've become very, as I mentioned earlier, very disenchanted with baseball. Uh, are you currently writing AW Dynamite scripts? No, I'm not. Uh, Eric Bubba O'Donnell with a great picture there. I, uh, I do not, uh, Mike is in impact wrestling. Uh, Daryl, it Mike's back in impact. Is, is that true? Double J, have you heard anything about Mike? Is Mike today back? Hmm. Uh, Let's see what else we got here. We I saw. Uh, where did I see something? I'm gonna try to make sure I see everybody's thing. Uh, are you going to write a book? Um. Well. Uh, yes and no. Is that a good answer? You, you'll find out pretty soon. Uh, Nick Lewis, Saw Night Show in Salt Lake City in 98. Best day of my life. Uh, that was uh, back at the old E Arena in Salt Lake City. As a matter of fact, that arena, uh, that old E Arena, and I, I can't remember what they call it now, was the last place we had a dynamite before the pandemic, back on, I think, the 11th of March. So that's uh, there's a trivia question for you. Uh, are you excited for Ben Carter and Scorpio Sky? Damn right I am. Like Ben Carter. Uh, Matthew Hill, what's up with you, buddy? Uh, AEW trade. Did you get back to Virginia very often, Cody? I don't. Uh, I talked to my sister who lives and and my entire family uh, lives back there. Uh, Everybody stayed. Everybody stayed in Virginia, but me. Um, I think I have one cousin that ended up going to Illinois, but most everybody stayed in, in AEW. Uh, I uh, I don't get back, but I wish I did. Uh, Russ says, AEW got me back into watching wrestling. Those are a fucking joke now. Russ, thank you for, for the comments. Appreciate you uh, you giving us a lot of love. Uh, and uh, I appreciate you being out there. Uh, let's see. Could the territory system ever make it back? No, I don't think so. Not with, uh, not with uh, the internet and, every, and kayfabe being dead. No, I don't think so. Just a different one. Uh, when was the moment you found out that Vince bought WCW? Uh, I was actually uh, in New York City. Uh, Lois and I were uh, were uh, there that weekend to, uh, or that week and weekend to be with our daughter, who's who's uh, who was in a concert at uh, Carnegie Hall with some other high school students. And Lois and I were walking through Times Square, and I saw it on the big crow the big role that Vince McMahon bought WCW. That's how I found out how about that for finding out. Uh, let's see. And this is going to be our final one right here and dried chicken without flavor. I believe the young bucks are mad at the fact the Clippers lost a series against the nuggets. That could be, Oh, that could be. Uh, will you buy a PS5? Yes, I will, uh, but not right away. Thanks to everybody who was with us. We appreciate you being out there. Uh, sorry if I missed your questions. We have a limited time here, but we appreciate you watching AEW Dynamite. Don't forget, we're going to be back live on uh, Wednesday night, and we got our AEW's uh, one hour show, Late Night Dynamite, coming up as well. Uh, again, my name is Tony Shivani. I'm the one that says, you're right, JR, on her broadcast.